This program contains graphic material, including offensive language. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up? Subscribers, YouTubers, other Battlefield players, I'm back. A little more Battlefield. You know, um, running with my um my new favorite, the Scar L. And um I've been MIA for a little while. I've been playing a little little known game called Diablo 3. You may have heard of it. And I think that's gonna be my new name for the Scar L, Diablo, because that Scar L is just a fucking beast. Anyway, um, I've been playing Diablo 3 like a motherfucker. Uh, I like games like that where you get to, um, you know, RPG type games. You get to build characters, do crazy stuff with gear, weapons, power-ups, blah, 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 blah. You know, games like Dark Souls and Demon Souls and shit like that. And, um, I'm going to talk about it real quick. Actually, I'm going to vent about it real quick. And you might like Diablo Ranch, you might not, and that's fine, because I'm, I'm gonna sit here and talk about it for a little while, because I want to, because I've been playing the shit out of it, and I want to talk about it, and I know some people are gonna tell me that I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm a noob, and I'm, and blah, 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 but fuck you, nerd, <laughs> screw you, nerd, what do you know, alright, it's my first Diablo, um, I'm thoroughly enjoying it, I don't hate the game, I, I like it a lot, I am thoroughly enjoying myself, and I'm gonna rant about it for a little while. And, I mean, who am I to call somebody a nerd? <laughs> really, like, I play video games. I make video game videos. I work as an engineer. And, hell, I know what a Phyrexian Dreadnought does. Um, if you don't know what a Phyrexian Dreadnought does, don't don't worry. You're not missing much. All right. That's when you know you descended into the pits and depths of nerd shit. But, anyway, let's start this off. First of all, um, I like the Apple. I like it a lot. I'm having a lot of fun. And it's my first one, and I've been playing as the Demon Hunter, and um, they have just been nerfing that thing to death. Like I have never played this game before, like or any or any Diablo games before. And as soon as I get the game, I, I didn't get the game when it released it. I got the game like late. I got it like almost a month later. So I'm getting into it. I come to find out half the damn things that I can do have just been nerfed. I don't know what a Demon Hunter does. I figured I'd try because it, it looks good. Um, turns out my shit's all nerfed. Turns out Blizzard nerfs the world. They will nerf anything for any reason. Um, they don't. They don't care. Um, this you have to be always connected to the game, but yet the account can somehow still get hacked. How do you still get hacked when you're always connected to them? Like, what? Really, son? But lucky for me, I got an authenticator, so I'm good. I already knew about that type. I did some research on the thing before I even bought the game, and I knew what to expect, so I went and got me an authenticator. But yeah, they, they, they nerfed the world. You have to always be connected. And that brings other problems. Like, the game actually has lag. You know what type of games don't have lag? Single-player games that I install on my computer don't have lag. Because I don't have to always be connected to some stupid service. But they somehow fixed that whole thing with games not having lag and found a way to add lag into them to where you can get killed by lag. And if you don't know what it's like to get killed by lag, I'm going to tell you. Um, basically... Everything disappears off your screen, except your character who is doing craziness. He's doing some sort of weird epileptic dance, and then all of a sudden, all the enemies pop up on your screen, or your health goes to nothing, and you just die. Which is why I don't play hardcore at all. Um, I thought about it. I, t I considered it. I was like, hey, this hardcore thing looks like it might be fun. Maybe, you know, since it's harder, I'll get better gear, and I'll get to do better stuff, and my powers will... No, no. There's no better gear. There's zero incentive to play that shit other than some achievements. Uh, keep your achievements. I don't need your achievements. You can't put achievements on a resume. I have never been approached by a woman who asked me, Hey, what's your KD look like? Never. So yeah, you keep your achievements. Um, I don't need them. That hardcore thing doesn't even give you better items. Like If that thing gave you better items or like a, 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 what, a 10 times better drop rate, then I'd play it. But it doesn't. You don't get anything. I'm not touching that. I like the normal game just fine. Um, another thing with the nerfing is like, I thought the whole point of these types of games, RPGs and, and games like this that play like this, I thought the whole point was to get strong. The whole for me, I play RPGs to get big, and eventually I would like to be at you know the final difficulty level. I would like to be strong as hell. That's why I play these games to find out how I can make my character strong as hell, and then you know beat the game and be done with it. Um, apparently, Diablo has fixed that. They do not want you becoming strong as hell. They will find a way to nerf that. They just nerfed attack speed. I'm like, what? Attack? What? 
And then, then like I got this character, the Demon Hunter. I have a high offense and a low defense. So basically, I get killed easily. But I get to counter that by having a high offense. I get to kill enemies easily. No, no, they're nerfing all that. They uh, they nerf my DPS. Like, like for me, like I don't have the highest DPS. Like I had like five thousand DPS legit with no sharpshooter or anything. Well, then they nerfed it. That shit dropped down to like three. And to someone else, a couple of G's isn't a problem. But to someone at my level, like, I was at, like, level 40-something, like, Nightmare. Like, no, no, that was hell no. That was a serious drop. <laughs> but, I mean, like, right now I'm good. I'm, like, level 57, act 2 hell. So I'm about to go ahead and beat hell and then move on to Inferno. And then try to get, you know, three more levels to level 60. But they've just been nerfing things to death. Like, who nerfs stuff at the final levels? Like, they nerf stuff at level 60. They nerf um, nether tentacles. Like it seems like every time a patch comes out, the demon hunter gets nerfed. Like, dude, no one else gets nerfed. It's like, come on, man. This, it's the demon hunter. He doesn't have any off any defense. All these other characters have buffs and things to assist their health and other stuff to keep them alive. I don't have any buffs. I don't have any diamond skin or any armor buffs or any of that. Any of this stuff the monk has to protect his health. None of that. I have to actually get away from people and live. You know, I have to actually move. I have to get out of the way. If there's a fireball coming, I don't absorb it. I move. I run. <laughs> All right? Kiting is what you do when you're a demon hunter. All right? Straight up. Why oh, me knife the shit out of this dude? Uh. Get knifed again. Like, put that shit down. <laughs> Lame. Um, but, yeah, like, kiting is what we do as demon hunters. We drag people around the map and gun them down, and they, then they nerf my offense. My only real skill, they nerf my offense. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, jerk-offs. Nerf my offense, nerf my DPS. I mean, what I'm supposed to do is basically you want to roll roll a barbarian now. Fuck, I mean, but I thought, I mean, I, the point of this shit is to get a strong character. The point of this for me was to get big. I haven't even unlocked another tentacles and I can't even use it. It's, it's a level 59 skill, like, that's the final skill, baby. You don't nerf the ultimate weapon? What? what? You don't nerf the ultimate weapon? It's, you know, it's your final skill. What the hell? But whatever, still enjoying the game, still playing, still finding ways to get around. And that's one of the things I love the most. The game forces me to find different ways to play my character, find different builds, find and try new ideas and new um, ways to attack the enemy. I like that. Personally, I, I do enjoy that thoroughly. Um, I don't appreciate them forcing me to do it by nerfing the game. I would like it if that was just in the game where you know, things changed up. Different enemy, you know, they can move enemy types around, change enemy levels around. They don't have to take your skills away to force you to change up. You can put people in different situations and have them, you know, think more and change up their skills to survive. But nobody thinks like that. Everybody just decides, you know, well, let's take their powers away. Um, but whatever. I thought, you know, for me, the point of the game is to um explore with a character, make them strong, and honestly, with all these nerfs, like. Who the hell wants, like, dude, it makes you not even want to build a new character because they nerf everything. You can't gain any experience fast. You know, like, honestly, I'm probably going to build one other character that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fuck off. I'm going to just farm after that, after my level 60. I'll build two level 60 characters. Then I'm just going to stop. Then I'm just going to stop. And for now, I'm going to stop and come back to you later with the rest of my Diablo 3 rants. And as always, ladies, commentary, give a thumbs up. If you don't get a shit, thumbs down. I'll catch you later.